And it's just a game, news. It's never just a game. It's never just a game. It's yeah. always real. You need so some shit to say, Gio? Thank you, Red Bull. Gio yeah. complimented you. You didn't hear her. What? I didn't hear it. She was just so stuck on being mean. I wasn't. I don't even remember what I said. <laughs> this is what a JK Ladies podcast would sound like. Right? You're so fucking hot. No, you're so fucking hot. hot. No, you're hey. fucking hot. Hey, hey. You didn't hear me, but I said you're fucking hot. Are your boobs hot. real? Are you fucking They're hot? They're not. I like the balls on your ears. Thank you. It brings out the color them. of the veins in your face. Damn. The veins? <laughs> no. Copper veins? It's <laughs> <laughs> making up shit right now. I like your pores. They look real tight today. Well, this is submitted by McDonald's knows Jamalia King, but they also yeah. know Gina. Got some McDonald's yeah, she's swag wearing the track on. Pants. Right here. Did you go to the McDonald's event or did they send that to you? They sent it to me. Wait, those are real? Yeah, they sent these to I me. I thought you got an embroidered yourself. No. Oh, McDonald's so cool. swag. Are you jelly? Kind of. I didn't even know you could buy it. You can't. Because unlike In N Out, you, you have to buy their swag, yeah. right? Yeah. yeah. It has to be given to you. Yeah. Man. You have to be worthy of their acknowledgement. Mm -hmm. All you gotta do is intercept the tweet from Gina. And <laughs> he did. They will they will That's message true. you. That's yeah. true. That's he what they <laughs> What kind of king does his own intro? <laughs> That's <laughs> lame. Da, 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 I'm here. It's a motherfucking <laughs> trumpet. We're in the middle of hiring some musical people right now. I just can't find anyone. Right. Enough. No one could do it th as good as I do. That's mm -hmm. why I, you know, the hiring process is just it's like, fuck it, I'll do it myself. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> A youth soccer referee is standing up against unruly parents at sporting events. Yes. Those are the worst people. I get it. Is it the same Taiwan that led the 12 kids to oh being God. captured? <laughs> I think they're talking about like soccer parents that, that fight. Always want to fight. Oh. Imagine like, he's like, sport, no yeah. need to freak out. They were just in the cave for nine days. <laughs> Jesus Christ. Now he's starting a fucking <laughs> yeah. petition. Like, come on. Like, you're over here. I was teaching them survival skills. <laughs> <laughs> they got out. What? <laughs> what? <laughs> Why does he sound like Drunk. <laughs> He's been in a cave for however many days. You sound like a junk chicken spring break. <laughs> so why are these soccer moms acting like uh, soccer hooligans? It's not just moms. It's dads yeah, too. Yeah. 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 Dads too. So why are they acting like soccer hooligans on a children's game? Because they're losers. Is it a soccer game though? They don't have they anything going on in their life. Oh. Yeah. yeah, they compensate for what they're overcompensating for what they missed out on in life. Yeah, it's not just soccer. It's like sports. Like I any see, sport I that has a referee. I see it all the time. Oh, really? What games are you watching? No, so I used to play uh, in, uh, what is it called? Pet band or jazz band? Nerd. So the athletes. Right? What? Nerd. What? So he wasn't actually playing the sport? So I didn't play a sport? Oh. Okay. <laughs> but he observed it there. Yes. But I watched a lot of sports being So played. I would see the parents come and they're yelling at the referee all the time. And they would always be like, oh, you fucking blind motherfucker. Did you see that foul? So they're like the game police all the time. Yeah. Like the game heckler. I was jealous because I always wanted my parents to do that for me, but they're musicians, right? So I was hoping at a recital, they'll be like, hell motherfucker, yeah, and then they start freak, like raising their hands up, like lighters and all that shit, but that never <laughs> happened. He hit nah. the fuck out of C note. Did you hear that yeah, shit? Yeah, nothing. That's my motherfucking. Yeah. It was like, it was just this. You know what I, you know what I imagine? These are the kind wow. of dads, you know exactly what they look like. They have shorts, polo, polo shirt on, yeah. the glasses, the sunglasses in the back of their head. A Bluetooth, and they have the Velcro sandals. Yeah, you know Velcro, Velcro sandals. sandals. The Velcro yeah. sandals, mm -hmm. or the high socks. Like oh, they have the socks yes. all the way pulled up. That's they have their own whistle. Yeah. 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 Mm -hmm. yeah. So I'm gonna show you guys a video clip of some parents taking these games a little too serious. The first one is where the parents are fighting. I hope I'm not one of those parents. Oh damn! Like that. <laughs> What a great example, Kim. At least three of these people have Dodge Rams. It's been all Dodge Rams! Oh, come on. She's yelling at a teen referee. Oh, not even like Whoa. a grown up. What the fuck? What did she do? Hit a kick a ball? Yeah. yeah. Like really aggressive. aggressively. Oh, no. Oh, that sucks. Is it for just one team? No, it's just across the country. Yeah, it's an epidemic. You're horrible! See, polo shirt, shorts, sunglasses. Sunglasses on a dad hat. I told you. The khakis. Damn, that's We have sucks. kids that are trying to learn the skill of being a referee, and yet they're in the middle of a cesspool of verbal insults by adults. It's like if the hate comments came alive in your comment section. Ooh, I'm gonna join that group. Yeah, he offers $100 for videos of parents parading referees. What's the group called? 
Uh, off field? I'll look at it again. I went to my friend's uh, hockey game one time. Offside. And then Offside. Um, his mom was super supportive. She was just like, go, go Raymond, that's so good. And then I was watching like, you suck today. Cause he wasn't <laughs> making any of the shots. And I was like, damn dude, that's so cool. Cause if I sucked, my mom would just tell me that today you sucked. And you don't eat tonight, no food for you. Yeah, <laughs> that's pretty far. Mm -hmm. But yeah, she, she wouldn't cheer. She's like, you only get a cheer or whatever if you did it good. But I'm like, damn, that's dope. Yeah. There was this one time, it wasn't it wasn't a children's thing, but I, w I was a ring girl for an MMA fight. And there was this guy fighting and his wife was in the back. And part of my language, but she was yelling. She was like this fat white bitch, right? Like she looked like she came, she rolled out of the trailer into this fucking ring. Right? <laughs> and part of my language, she goes, yeah, kill that fucking nigger faggot. I was just like, wow. Whoa, she what a bitch. Screaming it, like, kill that faggot, kill him. And I'm just sitting there like, what the fuck is going on? Did her husband win? Did anyone win? pop her in the face? Yeah, did she get kicked out? No, no one kicked her out. Was this an underground fight? No, this was like uh, King, of Cage, King of the Cage. She like owns yeah. the MMA. <laughs> and I'm sitting there like just like glaring. Well, I can't do anything because I got hired to be a ring girl. I can't yeah. be unprofessional. But she Which round were you? Two, uh, three? Three? Oh. You just come out with your sign. And you're like, <laughs> so you're like, you're like going like this, but in her mind you're like, oh my oh God, God, the fucking language. <laughs> It was awful. It was so gross. People are crazy when they cheer for shit. That, yeah. Now someone's gonna clip that and then put it out of context. Oh yeah, oh, that's true. Everything. No, don't suggest that. Now people are getting ideas. I'll show them this video. Fuck it. Fuck you. <laughs> I mean, you can't even say shit like when you're quoting other people anymore. Mm -hmm. You yeah. got a sense of that? Fuck that. No, you. This, that's what you observed, that and that's what you're repeating. Yeah. Or even like there was this one time I was reading a thing. I was reading a direct quote, yeah. and I was like. I can't even do that. But anyway, this coach here from Tulsa, he started this organization called STOP. STOP, which stands for Stop Tormenting Officials Permanently. And so whoever, whichever leagues join this, right here they post up signs to remind parents like, hey, Calm the fuck down. Calm down. Like don't take it so seriously. Cause I feel like there's a sportsman level of it's it's a part of the sport, right? Like when you're in a crowd, you're just like, oh, come on, man, that was totally yeah. not a foul. And then you're mm -hmm. just saying shit. I think that's a part of the game. Mm -hmm. But when you start getting out of control and you really internalize that shit, that's yeah. weird. Yeah. That's some well, weird shit. They're saying that a lot of these parents, they take it so fucking serious, like, cause they swear that they're, they spend so much money on like their six year old to get like private coaching, like the, to be in the best leagues, to, to whatever. Like they're just trying to make sure that they're gonna grow up to be professionals. And so that's why they take it so serious and then. Cause it's like, ruining their kid's record or something. Something, I mean, but they're li little kids. Like just- Ain't like, nobody looking at that six year old T-ball record. Right? The kid's like three years old. He doesn't even know where he is right now. Yeah. <laughs> I've been to Isaac's games. There's yeah. kids out there. They're just like, oh, Oh, butterfly. Right? Yeah, exactly. He's picking his boogers and just eating it in the outfield. That was actually Isaac, yeah. Do those people? <laughs> he would just be like, yeah. That's awesome. You're screaming at the umpire. Get my kid out of there. He's embarrassing me. They always have like untucked, oversized shirts. Yeah. Like half of it is untucked and it's oversized. Yeah, or like yeah. they're running toward the wrong way. Mm. Or like, I love that shit. No, no, Especially no, basketball no. games because they travel. And then they dribble. Oh once. yeah, that's right. Oh, he also played basketball. Too. Yeah, that's the best. <laughs> I always thought it was so funny when he would stick his his hands all the way in his pocket. His pockets are so huge compared to like his tiny little body. Where he would always end up in the front. I'm like, what are you doing? <laughs> <laughs> it looks wrong. But yeah, it's so cute. They're so lost when they're playing. Or they just start sitting down. <laughs> or oh, they're like, just tired. They don't even play anymore. That's the best. But then you have the other kids that are complete opposite. They're the like same they're age and they're fucking pros. Yeah. They're like, whoa. It's those people's parents. Exactly. Yeah. Say that. yeah. But it's like, they're bored. They don't have anything. I mean, must be nice that that's like the biggest thing that you're concerned right. about. It's it's so embarrassing. You imagine being that kid and your mom's just like, oh, fuck, not no, they, again. Fuck. They do talk about in this article that there was this one instance where this coach made that the child go up to their parent and tell them to stop. Like stop yelling. Did they tell the child to do that? The referee made the child go up to the parent, their parent that was screaming at the referee to stop. So it was humiliating for the, the child, it was yeah. humiliating for yeah. the parent. And there were other parents around that they were like, oh, I'm so glad that they did that. The parents are putting their pride, whatever they want before the child. It's like those beauty pageant moms. Yeah, exactly. Like, honey, shake your titties. Like, 
fuck? He's three. She's three. What the fuck are you doing? We're gonna <laughs> win this. Shake them titties. She has her camera. Chris <laughs> Jenner. <laughs> like, That's weird. You know, like it's yeah. fucking weird as shit. And she's dancing along with them. It's fucking creepy. That's like that one grandpa one. Remember when he toured around the country with his grandkid, and then he was oh, he yeah, was that, bad grandpa, I think. Yeah, or no. no. Oh, you little the, bit sunshine. The jackass one. Yeah. Right? Oh, oh yeah, 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 yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. And Maybe. then it was a little boy, and then he went like as a beauty pageant girl. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Oh, there was a dude that was on the news. His stepdaughter or daughter grew up to be a porn star, and he was her manager. And he was like, yeah, when she was like 13, I knew she was gonna grow up to be hot. So Ooh. like sometimes he waxes yeah. her for for yeah, yeah it, it's it's fucking creepy as shit. Wait, the manager is the dad. The dad. The dad was the a manager. manager. Is the manager. That's and like he knew his dog was gonna be hot. Like I think it was. I don't remember if it was biological or. That's kind of weird. That's sure. very weird. Yeah. Either way. Would it be weird if they were both hot, and he had no direct relationship to her like in that way? I think that's also weird. That's very weird. Yeah. Just any adult Unless that's like, like a this professional waxer own. that is, has his own business. But I wouldn't even do my But then daughter. he wouldn't be manager. Yeah, exactly. I saw, I mean, I saw. Uh, it's just weird that a 13 year old's getting waxed. <laughs> yeah. Wait, no, 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 she no, wasn't, she wasn't we, 13. When she became an adult, oh. yeah, she was right? An adult. Oh, yeah. 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 Okay, okay. She does porn like, and he manages so her. Oh, well, yeah. I don't know if that's weird actually. What? If he waxes like the bikini wax or whatever, like he's just but getting it, it. It's like makeup, doing no makeup. One, like he's a professional he waxer. Manages her doing porn. Yeah, his own daughter. And he even oh, said. Oh, I guess it's weird for us.